it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you very much for joining me again today for another spot challenge. Today we have a sketch. This is the sketch. Can you see that? Let me bring it up a bit. So it's a very basic sketch, uh, but none the worse for that. So I thought I would continue my series of um, Christmas or Halloween you choose. So this is my Halloween make and I have used poinsettia petals. Well, technically not. I've used the poinsettia dies um, to make my Halloween card, but I thought it was rather lovely, even if it is Halloween. I mean, it's not traditional Halloween, but it embraces all that lovely um, those dark colours and all that good stuff and a bit of spritz. This was just some of the uh, First Frost. Is it First Frost? What's the shimmer paint called? No, it wasn't Frost White. It was the other one. Champagne Mist. That was it. So it's some of the Champagne Mist in um, a little mini spritzer that is filled with alcohol and I've then just spritzed. Um, so it was actually no it was the white it, I tell a lie it was the white so it's just in alcohol I've got this marked so that I know it's alcohol not that you can get it confused because you only have to smell it um, so that's what I did with that and this is Blackberry Bliss uh, cardstock that I've just used the dyes this is the vellum and I'll be showing you how I did that when I do my Christmas version but it's so easy. Uh, so the vellum, you can die cut again with the dies. Some of the patterns, some of the um, flocking is uh, the same size as the dies. So you can you can die cut them. And then I've used one of the little um, pearl inserts, beaded pearl um, things um, for the centre. And I've just coloured it with the dark Pretty Peacock blend. And it's it's gorgeous. I mean, I was hoping it was going to be nice. I didn't expect it to be quite so gorgeous. Anyway, I thought I would show you a Christmas version. So I've got a completely different colour scheme. I'm starting with an old olive card base because old olive is one of the colours in the designer series paper. Um, and this is some of the designer series paper. Uh, I'm going to be using the wood grain and then this is the other... Isn't it gorgeous? But I'm going to be using the uh, fur cones. So I'm going to start by adhering that down. As ever, the measurements will be on my website and you can get to my website just by clicking the link to the associated blog post, which is in the description bar below. And while I'm doing this, I make videos that I, I use stamping up products, but um, they are general paper craft projects. So if you are into paper crafting and would like to see more videos from me, why not hit the subscription button while you're looking around the, um, the screen? It's in the bottom right hand corner. Just click on that description bar uh, on that uh, button, which is just about there. And then you can click the alert bell if you would like to be wrong. Blue, if you would like to be alerted when I post a new video. Uh, it used to be that you would be sent an email, um, but they don't do that anymore unless you click the alert bell. Now, this is too wide, deliberately, because I want it to be the full width. So I'm just going to add some adhesive here so that I know that that edge is adhered to some degree. And then I'm just going to line this up and pop it across so that it's straight. And then I can just trim this piece off with my snips, knowing that it's going to be adhered because I put that strip of Stampin' Seal down. So yes, I'm a, I'm a UK-based Stamping Up demonstrator. Love Stamping Up. It is... I'm just... I wish I'd found them sooner, is all I can say. Um, so I've run these the dies through again. This time I'm using the Shimmer White cardstock because I wanted something that wasn't too white white. And I've got Blushing Bride and a sponge dauber. And I'm just going to add, whoops, I'm just going to throw my sponge dauber around apparently. I'm just going to add just a little bit of ink 
into the middle of the flower. And I'm thinking of those, you know the poinsettias you get that are sort of salmon coloured? So I'm thinking that, but I don't want it to be full on um, that salmon colour. It's not my favourite colour kind of poinsettia. But I thought it would be fun to introduce a different colour rather than sticking with the colours that are in the designer series paper because I'm basically just using soft suede for the um, from the designer series paper so it's not it's not vital that I pick out a colour that's in the designer series paper. So just add a little more. I love this shimmer cardstock, not least of all because it shimmers, which is never a bad thing in my life. And then just the last one. Now this is the one that's going to be most visible because it's going to be on the top. little bit more so it doesn't stop quite so harshly but using an almost dry sponge dauber really helps in getting a soft finish so there we go that is our sponging done now before I put all of that together let me show you the leaves which I've cut from the um, the vellum paper that's what I was thinking of now this is how I colored my um, berries for this card so your stamping blends and it's like magic you just touch it and it just runs it's amazing so I'll probably actually do more of the light than the dark because this is quite dark so let's do the light instead, or as well as. Of course, I've got a slightly dry light, but it's fine. Time I got a new one of these, I think. Might be that the other end is a little wetter or not. And actually, what I think I'll do is also bring in the colour lifter, which I will need to go and grab. But the colour lifter, hopefully, will just make the colour a little bit paler. I wanted something a slightly paler than this. Um, I've got a fairly juicy colour lifter, so I'm hoping that that will do the trick. We'll find out in a minute. What I could probably do instead is use a sponge dauber again, but I wanted more a more sort of definite colour. Um, so let me get the colour lifter. Here we go. So let's see what happens if I, ooh, yes, that's better. So it is doing exactly what I wanted it to do, which is helping it spread a little, but also toning down the shade a bit. The colour lifter is not just alcohol, but it's basically alcohol, so it should help everything just uh, run a bit. And because it can't, what the colour lifter actually does is push the colour into the card, if it was ordinary card, which of course it can't do on this plush because it's plush, not card. So all it actually does on this is dilute the colour and apparently take that bit of plush off. doing what I wanted it to do so that's good 
So nearly done, and then the construction is so straightforward. Oh, I do need one more thing. Uh, and I can't decide which to use. Hmm. Right, okay, I think I will use, if I can grab it, I meant to get this out. Oh, I know what I can use. I'm going to use, yes, some of the champagne foil which I haven't used for an age. So no bad thing to bring it out. So I'm going to cut a piece that is three quarters of an inch wide. Sorry, it's let me do it that way up because it's going to glare. There we go. Then I'm going to bring in my Banners Pick a Punch and just punch a flag at one end and then I will decide how long I need it and flag the other end. So that's going to be there. So I think I need it to be about that long. So then I can bring back in my punch and there we've got our little flagged piece. So that's going to go in the middle and I'm going to use some seal plus for that if it would like to attach itself that would be nice. There we go. The trick with seal plus, this is a really slick surface and the trick with seal plus is to get it started and then it plays but you need to get it started. Right, okay, so I'm going to stick these together with dimensionals. So this is not going to be a cheap card to post. This is the sort of card you want to um, hand deliver, I think is what I would suggest. So that there, that there, and that is all I need, I think. Yes, that goes there, that goes there, yep. And then I'm just going to take my bone folder and very gently just curl the petals a little. Don't want to go mad, just want a gentle curl. Just to give them some life and some shape. And then the last one. And then we're very close to being finished. So to take part in the spot challenge, and that is after all what it's all about, um, all you need to do is pop over to my website, which I say is in the description bar below, uh, and you will find the picture of the sketch. Uh, so all you need to do is click on that and it will take you straight over to the spot website and you can enter there. So really straightforward. It helps if you have a website. If you don't have a website, if you've got an Instagram account, you can um, you can take part from an Instagram account as well. You just have to use the hashtag of the spot challenge if you're doing uh, from Instagram. So I'm not going to colour the centre of this, this poinsettia. I'm going to leave it the original pearl. Just need some adhesive. And then we can pop that on our card front. Just pop that down and then these I'm just going to pop in top left and bottom right. So one. And Oop. I want to go under the petal, thank you. There we go. Oop. And just the last ones. One there. And because you've got the plush. You don't need to worry so much about hiding your adhesive um, because it kind of does it for you. So there you are. 
that is my interpretation of the challenge. The question I need to ask you is, which do you prefer, the Halloween or the Christmas? So if you'd like to leave a comment below the video, that would be fantastic. I really would like to know. It's been a surprise which ones people have gone for, particularly those who I know are in the UK, where we don't really do uh, Halloween. So I would be thrilled to hear from you. Thank you very much indeed. Any questions or comments, please leave those below. As I say, there's a link to my website below. If you're in the UK and would like any stamping up products, I would be thrilled if you would try out my customer service. If you have, you've just got time to take, take advantage of the get and go starter kit promotion. So don't forget about that. Today is the last day. After that, the extras have gone. But it's still a fantastic deal if you are in UK, France, Germany, Austria or the Netherlands, you can join my team. And I would be very, very glad if you would. Thank you very much indeed. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.